After Sydney Sweeney hilariously roasted the crap out of her own film, Madam Web, on SNL the other day, it looks like Dakota Johnson is taking a page out of her book to get a little bit bold here, a little bit spicy, when it comes to her real thoughts about Hollywood. She absolutely just goes scorch earth on Hollywood in this absolutely brutal rant that we're going to be checking out here. So, honestly, instead of blaming the audience, is refreshing. Dakota Johnson wins hearts despite Madam Web failure for not using Brie Larson's excuses. Dakota Johnson gets praised for not doing what Brie Larson did. And uh, this is one of the things that I can say, The probably the one positive thing that I can say about this entire movie is that uh, the, the ladies that were in the film have uh, been pretty good sports, all things considered, when it comes to this film. They haven't blamed it on men being sexist or anything like that. And Dakota Johnson definitely gets into a lot of that when it comes to her feelings on the film and how the film was received by audiences. But then she decides to get a little bit deeper and a little bit more gritty when it comes to Hollywood in general. I can't take any of it seriously, Dakota Johnson dashes all hopes of Madam Web 2 with scathing statement after Sydney Sweeney's SNL remark. Then the movie Madam Web came out and it was pauses like I can't take any of it seriously at all. I don't know, it was definitely an experience for me to make that movie. I have never done anything like it before. I probably will never do anything like it again because I don't make sense in that world and I know that now. I'm sure it had nothing to do with the fact that, you know, this film got absolutely demolished in every every aspect that you can think of. I'm sure it had nothing to do with that whatsoever. I'm sure it's just that she, she didn't make sense in that world, right? I, I'm sure that's the only reason why. I'm sure that I bet you if this film did absolutely fantastic if this film was a huge just insane success She probably would be coming back for a second one wouldn't she but sometimes in this industry you sign on to something And it's one thing and then as you're making it becomes a completely different thing and you're like wait what? But it was a real learning experience and of course it's not nice to be part of something that's ripped to shreds But I can't say that I don't understand so like I said she's being a pretty good sport about it you know, and this is something that Brie Larson and a lot of other feminist actresses out there can definitely learn from. It's the way that Dakota Johnson and Sydney Sweeney have handled the the reactions to this film. And then she gets even more into it here about Hollywood. So this is what she had to say about the entire thing. In these big movies that get made, decisions are being made by committees. And art does not do well when it's made by committee. 110% correct. I totally believe in this and agree with this. This is, of course, something that we are definitely straying from when it comes to Epicverse. We don't want films to be ruled by committees. We are very creator-friendly at Epicverse. We allow the creators and the writers and the filmmakers to express what they want to in the films and to make the stories that they want to make. We find that to be very important and something that Hollywood has definitely lost along the way. Films are made by a filmmaker and a team of artists around them. You cannot make art based on numbers and algorithms. 100 100%. My feeling has been for a long time, the audiences are extremely smart, and executives have started to believe that they're not. This is so true. Like, what she is doing here is spitting facts. How how much have we, have we seen this recently, where all these Hollywood elites just look down on the rest of us? They, they think that we are all idiots. They think that they have to spell out every little thing in a film. They don't make smart movies anymore. They just don't, okay? And this is something also that Epicverse is getting back to. Audiences will always be able to sniff out BS. Even if films start to be made with AI, humans aren't going to effing want to see those. And I agree with pretty much everything that she's saying here. She is spitting fire when it comes to what she is saying in this video or in this interview here. As much as I absolutely despise the Madam Web film, it's refreshing to see some actresses that are willing to be good sports about the whole thing, and I appreciate that. So with that being said, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.